President has made clear that under this administration, America once again stands with our allies and stands up to our enemies. And our two nations stand together to confront any who dare to threaten us, most especially the menace of radical Islamic terror. It does not matter what name it takes, Hezbollah, Hamas, Al-Qaeda, or any other. You can be assured that we will defeat the forces of terror so they can no longer threaten our people, our allies, or our way of life. And under President Trump, America and Israel once again stand together. In the face of the leading state sponsor of terrorism, President Trump has put Iran on notice. Just last month, the President laid out a new strategy to oppose Iranian efforts to destabilize the region and jeopardize Israel's security. As he has said in his words, the longer we ignore the threat, the more dangerous that threat becomes. That's why President Trump announced that we will not certify the Iran nuclear deal and we will no longer tolerate Tehran's support for terrorism across the region and across the wider world. As we speak, our administration is working closely with leaders in Congress to craft legislation that will overcome the Iran nuclear deal's most glaring failures. And while this process is still underway, today I can assure you, under President Trump, the United States of America will not allow Iran to develop a nuclear weapon. This is our solemn promise to you, to Israel, and to the world.